Hi everyone. We're going to do another video called the uh, hookup culture effects, toxic effects. And um, your self worth is more important than the um, than following the lies of feminism. Uh, feminism isn't for equality. And if they push this narrative that women can be equal to men by you know, going out and finding themselves and looking, sleeping around. Did you know it damages your psyche? Did you know it damages you? Then you turn around, you're going to have to go and then, uh, you know, it'll damage your future, future relationships, so to speak. So let's go ahead and let's talk about this, okay? Now, since I'm recording this, so let's hear what uh, another postmodern feminist lie being exposed. So let's listen to what she has to say. Okay, ladies, I'm going to tell you something that the rest of the world won't. You don't need to have a hoe phase. I got a DM from a girl that's kind of like my age, and she asked me if I thought that that was like a necessary part of life. All her friends are telling her like this is the time of your life to like sleep around, be promiscuous, not get emotionally attached to guys, just like hop around from one guy to the next and she's like, Am I do I need to do this? Um, my opinion is no. <laughs> Nobody needs to do that. In fact, I think there are a lot of downsides to the whole hookup culture in general and this idea that before you can settle down you need to like go crazy. And I think it's really ironic that the like postmodern feminist movement right now kind of seems to be pushing this idea of like, you know, women should be promiscuous and like, because it, you know, makes them feel more like equal to men. I don't think that that's So basically what she is covering is this hookup culture is damaging to both men and women. And she's right. And she's not even licensed to speak on this, on this stuff. So anyways. I just want to go ahead and say that, um, you know, men look at the, you know, they could tell on the um, body counts. And women with high body counts, I mean, this is going to come back and haunt you. And most women do know this. They know this, but they just choose to lie about it. They choose to say, oh, no, 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 no. That ain't true. We're going to be equal to men. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Now, nah, we want to be equal. Let me tell you something. Everything has a price tag attached to it. So let her, let's go ahead and let her finish. That's true. I think that hookup culture, according to the studies that I've looked at, um, harms women and it doesn't fulfill what women really want. It fulfills what toxic, like non-committing men want, but for women it usually um, doesn't do much. Regarding hookups, men and women... So did you hear what she said? Non-committing men benefit from this. They oh man I got my prize chick oh man I I got a, I got a chance to sample that I don't want her but I just want to have a little I want to test her out and basically let's let, let's go ahead and let her finish this women were both asked the same kind of questions and the reason for hookup regret for women was that they so women hookup feel used. They feel used and then thrown away. So yes, hookup culture actually harms women. And it also harms relationships. It felt used a lot of times and they um, kind of regretted that. And for men, their biggest regret was that the woman they were with. And men hook it up feels women weren't attractive enough. And also other petition men who never been with the woman will get the woman with a high body count and emotional and the baggage that comes with that. Unless she seeks 
individual counseling and therapy wasn't attractive enough. How is this empowering for women to tell them to just go like sleep with these kind of guys? Like that's not that's not empowerment, honey. You don't need So she's right. That's not empowerment. And this is what feminism empowerment telling you. Oh yeah, go do this. Man, the world is yours. You can have it all. Feminism is based on a damn lie. Postmodern feminist lie will lead you to destruction. And men been telling these women, the young, fruitful women, that this is going to lead to destruction. They get called names. And I'm telling you, winter is going to come when you least expect it. It's going to come when you least expect it. And it destroys everything. Seriously, it does. Listen, for an for, uh, important perspective, picture going to, you know, if you're from a little village or a town, picture going somewhere. Now, to the women I'm speaking to, picture going somewhere. And one of the guys you hooked up with in the past calls your man or your your husband or your fiance and has a personal private and him and the boys are having a personal private chat and you're not there to listen. Then you sense something is wrong. Then your fiance or boyfriend looks at you different. That right there is your guilty conscience talking to you. It's telling you that your past came back to haunt you. So, to the women out there that have a fiance or a husband, if he asks you a question, be upfront and honest. You know, it would be better for the man to hear the truth from you and you take a chance on losing him or keeping him. <clears throat> now, every man is different. There's some men care about body count, and some men don't even give rats butt about it. You see? There's men that don't give a rats butt about body count. You see where I'm going at with this? Now, I mean, there's one or two things that can happen. Are you ready for this? There's one or two things that can actually happen here. All right. The guys that are talking to to the, your fiance or husband are just telling him all these things, trying to get him to dump you, to make you go single. They can listen. Did you hear what that girl said? Non-committing men. There's, there's some out there that are petty as hell. They can go and destroy your relationship. They can destroy it. And listen, listen to women. If you think that feminism represents men and women, you're in denial, so to speak. Okay? Now, I want to go ahead and make this clear. If you believe in feminism, you are in for this. You're in for a serious wake-up call. So, number one, you know, as a man myself, you're asking me, what can I do to keep my fiance? What can I do to keep my husband? Well, men are logical creatures, okay? There's some men out there that don't give a damn about body count. There's some men that don't give a damn how you know what what you did in the past. You see what I'm saying? Some women are scared to talk about their past to their potential boyfriend or boy or fiance in fear of being dumped. I hope you're following what I'm saying here. 
Now, what that girl just said in that video, she's right. This hookup culture will destroy relationships. It'll destroy the woman. It'll make her feel like she's cheap and used. So, thank you for watching this short video, and I hope you learned a lot from this. And if and remember, if somebody's telling you you need to go and uh, party and go 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 into the whole phase, then <laughs> if your instinct is telling you no, then you should obey your instinct, not those people that are in, bringing it on and egging it on. Okay, then. Huh, you need a new set of friends. If those friends are been with you and they're they're help pushing this, then you need new then you need a new set of friends. Real friends don't let other friends go to the gates of destruction where many will meet. Okay? Thank you for watching this video and peace out.